Good evening, I'm Greg Sharp. Here is tonight's sports ticker. The Huskers were back on the practice field today as they prepare for the home opener Saturday against Fordham. Afterwards, offensive coordinator Matt Lubick said that the Huskers were working on correcting their game one mistakes. You know, you lose a tough one like that um, in any football game. Uh, you know, you hold yourself accountable, um, but you got to move on. You know, you got you got to fix the mistakes, you know, not not dwell on them, fix them, um, and get better. And I think not just as coaches, players got to have that same mindset. And uh, that, that I means it's over. You now we we, we got to fix some things, obviously, but it's over. Now we're on to the next week. We'll have more from the coach along with defensive coordinator Eric Chenander later in the hour. NU Athletics announced today that two generous donors have come forward to buy the remaining tickets for Saturday's game and that those will be given away to, quote, roll out the red carpet experience for youth. The complimentary tickets will go to underserved youth across the state of Nebraska. This announcement means that the 376th game Nebraska will have sold out will happen and cheer on the Big Red on Saturday. The holiday hoopsgiving games in Atlanta on December the 11th announced their tip-off times today, and the Huskers will play Auburn at 10.30 in the morning. The rest of the starting times for the non-conference schedule for the Big Red will be announced soon. Husker soccer goalie Sammy Hawk has once again won the Big Ten's Goalkeeper of the Week. She played the entire 90 minutes against Baylor in a Husker 2-1 win. She played the first 89 minutes against Oklahoma before leaving with a injury. The game was scoreless when she left. The Huskers are 3-1. They'll return to action at Hibner Stadium Thursday night as they host UNO. Checking a big league scoreboard here on a Tuesday night. Every All the games in the league is under the lights tonight. The lineup has the Phillies and the Nationals just getting their way in Washington. Orioles and Blue Jays in Toronto. Athletics and Tigers in Detroit. Boston and Tampa down in Florida. The Marlins are in New York to take on the Mets tonight. The Rockies and Rangers will play later. Cubs and Twins in Minneapolis, Pittsburgh, and the White Sox on the south side of Chicago. The Yankees and Angels out west. Padres and Diamondbacks in Phoenix. The Brewers and Giants continue their series in San Francisco. Astros and Mariners also will play out west. And the Braves and Dodgers will play in Los Angeles. And by the way, I missed this. Mets and Marlins are playing two today. Mets won game one, final of six to five. Those are the headlines. I'm Greg Sharp. Live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network, bringing you the best Husker sports experience. Kubik sends a pass, Green goes off. It's over the net. Shut back by Stubbins. It's in. They did it. Match point, big run. 15 10 in the fifth. Fighting back from the abyss down two sets love. Nebraska claims opening night against Ohio State. 15 10 set five. My goodness. Lawrence Stiverns is a great leader, and Lauren was talking to those guys through when we were struggling, and she got them to change their mindset. Uh, and then you know, I think Lexi led the way, and Nicklin, and um, so those are the guys that got to do that. Uh, and, uh, you know, then it was fun to watch. We played Husker Volleyball. Sports Nightly is brought to you by the Nebraska Department of Transportation Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, we're here Tuesday night, Sports Nightly. Good to have you with us here tonight for the next couple of hours. We do have a volleyball show in hour number two. The head volleyball coach, John Cook, will be here. Jessica and Coach Cook will talk Husker volleyball. They moved up a spot in the rankings. Yeah, up to number four. Jumped the Gators over the weekend. Yeah, I mean, big weekend. I'm excited to talk to Coach Cook about it. Um, he knew that Kansas State was going to give them a fight. They always play them tough. And, you know, that third set, they kind of gave them all that they wanted. And then they Nebraska had to come back and win in the fourth set. So excited to talk all things Husker volleyball with Coach Cook. He might not admit this, but I bet deep down he's glad they lost a set. Because, you know, you want a little bit of adversity to see how your team responds from that. You don't want just straight, because you know in a few weeks when you get into the conference or when you go to Stanford in a few weeks, you're going to have to play really well to well, win. Especially with so many freshmen. And on top of that, so many players that hadn't played in front of a crowd before. I know that was a, a big deal as well. I mean, even though they had the red and white scrimmage, it's still kind of an adjustment for some of these players to be in front of an atmosphere like that. So learning kind of how to, to how to manage all of that. I mean, your emotions can get high. You can uh, 
uh, maybe you know tend to miss a serve or, or do you know make some mistakes maybe because you're you're so amped up because of the crowd. So figuring out how to manage all of that is is big as well. So yeah, he, uh, just a great experience, and I'm sure we'll dive into all of that. And Lexi Rodriguez, the big Co Big 12 freshman mm -hmm. of the week. So uh, exciting for them. Good honor for her to have that. So that's coming up in hour number two. We're going to hear from Matt Lubick, Eric Chenander. The two coordinators met with the media today, and it was a lot of talk about, okay, what did you see? What mistakes did you make? And I'm trying to get the uh, get those things corrected for the Fordham matchup coming up on Saturday. So looking forward to getting in the clips of that. Had this in the ticker that a couple of donors have stepped up and purchased the remaining tickets for Saturday's game. And what a great idea, Jessica, to, to give these to some youth who would have no chance of coming and watching a Husker football game. It's awesome. And it's really sad that some people are even saying anything negative about this at all. And, and you know, throughout the day, I've seen some Husker fans that have tweeted about how, you know, they kind of had a similar experience. I just read one tweet where a fan said that they got a chance like this back in 1995, got to go to their first game and have been hooked ever since. So, you know, just giving this opportunity, I mean, football tickets are are expensive and and you know just the chance to um, so many young kids go to their first game how many times have I, I mean I can't tell you how many times I've, I've interviewed a player and they got to go to a game because they were with a youth team or they you know went to a basketball game and then they fell in love with the sport and then they a dream was kind of born right then and so it's just you know you, you never know what kind of inspiration you can give a kid um, by letting them see you know the magnitude of Nebraska football inside Memorial Stadium how that can inspire a, a young kid but just giving some opportunities to families and, and kids that might not otherwise have that and I think it's awesome. Well the announcement came this afternoon and Athletic Director Trev Alberts and Dr. Lawrence Shatters, who we had on the program a few weeks ago, who is the new assistant AD in charge of diversity and inclusion, he was the one who came up with this idea, right. a wonderful idea. They put out a little video message earlier today. Here's what uh, Nebraska's Athletic Director had to say. Hello, Husker fans. Trev Alberts with you here and Dr. Lawrence Chatters. And as many of you are aware, we had some tickets available for the Fordham game. I know the sellout streak is really important to a lot of our fans, and quite frankly, it's really important to us as well. And so I challenged our senior staff with uh, some ideas and asked them to come up with some ways that we could move these extra tickets. And so Dr. Chatters is here to explain uh, his idea and his innovative approach to get more young people exposed to the Husker brand. Yeah, Husker Nation, you know, one of the most important questions in my household when I was growing up was, how much does it cost? That really drove a lot of what we were able to do, and I know that's the same for a lot of the people in Husker Nation, but especially some of our underserved and at-risk youth who are out there in Husker Nation who have never had the opportunity, like some of you and I, and Trev, of course, to be here in the stadium on Husker Game Day. Now, what we know about this place on Husker Game Day is that it becomes the third largest city in the state of Nebraska, and we have so many people here from different walks of life that get a chance to enjoy this space. And what we wanted to do is offer that opportunity to our youth who may not have the chance to come here due to economic issues and some of their family members to come into this space and be a part of Husker Game Day. So we created the red carpet experience, an opportunity that we are going to be pushing forward this game to make sure that some of our at-risk and underserved students in the community get a chance to come into Memorial Stadium and enjoy Husker Game Day. Thank you, Dr. Chatters, and we're really excited about this. And by the way, I want to thank a couple of our donors that have stepped up. Uh, we had some support, we had some tickets to move, and we had a couple donors that bought into Dr. Chatters' vision, purchased those tickets to provide an opportunity for young people. So uh, please reach out to Dr. Chatters. Uh, if you have any information that you'd like to have, reach out to us. We'll get it to you as quickly as we can. And again, we're excited about this new initiative. I'd like to thank Dr. Chatters for an outstanding idea. And uh, remember, as always, Go Big Red. So there you go. There was the message that came out this afternoon from uh, Nebraska Athletic Director Trev Alberts and, and Dr. Chatters, who's an assistant AD, recently assistant AD. These are, two, these are two gentlemen, Jessica, that have only been on staff for about six weeks between the two of them. So uh, jumping right in and coming up with a creative idea, I love it. I think it's great. I love it. And shout out to the donors who, who made it all possible. I think it's a great idea. And if you have, you know, teams or, or families or kids in mind that maybe would be good for this, as you heard them talk about, I don't know if it's the contact information is out, but you can email Dr. Chatters at Dr. Chatters, C-H-A-T-T-E-R-S at Huskers.com. So. You know, I just, I, I, I guess I'm baffled by the, the people and the negativity of people saying, this is bad for Nebraska. 
I guess somebody's going to have to explain that to me. How is, how is giving away tickets to kids a bad thing? I mean, I don't know. It, people think it cheapens the streak. You know, I was on an Illinois network last week, and they told me that they handed out several thousand free tickets to doctors and nurses and medical people who've worked so hard the last year and a half for the pandemic. But I don't see them getting ridiculed. I guess it's because this keeps the streak alive. But, I mean, I, I just I have a hard time understanding the logic behind this is a bad thing. Well, and obviously the streak, you know, as much as people want to say whatever negative about it, there are a lot of Husker fans that this streak means a great deal to, and they want to keep it going. And uh, so I think it's a, a fantastic idea to, um, you know, get some, some young kids in here that might not be able to come to a game otherwise. You know, as I mentioned earlier, just a chance to, to provide them an opportunity to dream you know right. and, and to be inspired and hey i let me be i want to be i want to be number two out there one day you know as a, as a quarterback of a football team or let me go catch a touchdown pass or run one into the end zone i mean you just never know how, how you can impact a kid with giving them this kind of experience it's one of the things i love about our spring game because the spring game the tickets are cheaper and so a lot of families get to come and that's the only thing they can afford to go to as it relates to Husker football. And is there one chance to see the stadium and see the players and see what Memorial Stadium looks like? And it's one of the things I love about the spring game because it does open up that opportunity. This is that and more. Uh, I, I just think it's fantastic. So, all right, uh, coming up here in a few minutes, we're going to hear from both Matt Lubick and Eric Chenander. Here are the numbers if you want to be a part of it, 402-413-2400, 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. We're also up on our YouTube stream if you want to get in there, have some fun with some Husker fans. Uh, they get in there and converse uh, nightly as well. We are broadcasting from our gorgeous Huskers Radio Network broadcast studio sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and down into Kansas, Acres Solutions for Every Field. Back with more of the show coming up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Double espresso for Matt, large ice mocha for Greg, $2,022 for Katie. Oh, oops. Everybody's mind is on the Nebraska Lottery's Powerball's Rockin' 15 promotion. Until September 25th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket and enter for a chance to be one of 15 to win $2,022 and a chance to win $1 million. Sorry for the mix-up, Katie. Here's your latte. Forget the coffee. Where's my $2,022? Powerball top prize odds, one in $292 million. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Hey, this is Jimmy Buffett. I am so happy to be bringing my Broadway musical, Escape to Margaritaville, to you. It's got all the songs you know by heart, a few new ones, a great cast, and dancing that'll knock your flip-flops off. Get ready to set your mind on island time and get your tickets today. Fins up. At the Lead Center, September 10th through 12th. Get your tickets today at leadcenter.org. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Treatment for kids fighting brain cancer has not changed for over 30 years. If a child survives, they will live with the side effects from the treatments for the rest of their lives. 
This is Rex Burkhead. The Team Jack Foundation invests in impactful childhood brain cancer research to find better treatments and one day a cure. There's a lot of work to do to beat this disease, and we need your help. Donate today by calling 855-RUN-JACK or by visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Your help makes a difference. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Dave's is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get-together famous. Award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs. Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, creamy coleslaw, and Dave's cheesy mac and cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit FamousDave's.com for all your catering and online ordering needs or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue. When you're ready to pursue a career-building college degree, go with the school you know and trust, the University of Nebraska. And if you need the flexibility, convenience, and affordability of an online degree program, you can go online with the University of Nebraska. With courses developed specifically for the online learner by our four regionally accredited NU campuses, it's a valuable online education for your very real-world future. Go to online.nebraska.edu to learn more. Treatment for kids fighting brain cancer has not changed for over 30 years. If a child survives, they will live with the side effects from the treatments for the rest of their lives. This is Rex Burkhead. The Team Jack Foundation invests in impactful childhood brain cancer research to find better treatments and one day a cure. There's a lot of work to do to beat this disease, and we need your help. Donate today by calling 855-RUN-JACK or by visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Your help makes a difference. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont, featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at Sid Dillon Buick GMC.com. We are professional grade. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean, which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles? Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco, proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com slash change. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. We're back at Sports Highly here on a Tuesday night, 402-413-2400. That's our Sports Highly hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying. To save you time, shop finance and buy online at Woodhouse. Dot com. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootey with you here on a Tuesday night. Let's head to the phones. John and Lincoln's up next. Good evening, John. Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm in my late 70s, and I remember we would buy a knothole ticket for a quarter. And they had on the north, the girls, and on the south, boys, and we bring a football in. My parents would go to the games when there was less, maybe five or 6,000 people there. They'd give us a buck. We buy a snow cone. There was a cotton candy, not cotton candy, but a caramel apple that had a mountie on it, you know, the, the wrapping. And we buy some peanuts and then a Coke. And, you know, I just think back the support and the people that really liked it are the fans like me that grew up when we weren't that good. And I remember over on a Saturday, it was snowing and we went to the game and we beat Oklahoma. And uh, I just, you know, remember these great times. So there still can be good times when we're down and out like we are right now as a team. And when we have the $5 million man out there, I don't know what he's doing, but people are still wanting to go. And this week, I'm giving my tickets away, and we just picked them up today. 
uh, we went down and got them because we just didn't want to have them in the mail. So I just think there are still a lot of great fans out there. And the thing is, it's up to the coach and the coaches and the players to bring people in to watch the game. And it and I talk to friends of mine all over the country, and they just think that Nebraska, I'm not trying, is an embarrassment. And, you know, we're not a national brand right now. We're not blue bloods, and I hear people talk about it. And they said it would be nice if the sportscasters, which are on radio or television, uh, email or in magazines, would get honest with where we have been for the last few years. That doesn't uh, stop my enthusiasm for the game and for Nebraska, but it'll be interesting to see if some of these people that have been here for 25 or 30 years, why don't they step up? And why don't they have a T-shirt called the knot hole section? And individual people like myself buy some tickets and just donate it uh, to the young kids like that. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Good idea. And, by the way, they are going to supply. The tickets will also come with a small meal. They're going to provide a hot dog, popcorn, and soda for for the youth that are coming to this game. So, yeah, this has happened a lot down through the years. And companies kind of picking up the last few tickets to, to ensure a sellout. It's happened at Nebraska umpteen times during the, the, the uh, amount of this streak. All right, uh, buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Both coordinators met with the media today. Uh, Eric Chenander on defense, Matt Lubick on offense. And Coach Lubick was asked to talk more about the game plan going into Illinois, what adjustments they had to make, and because uh, Coach Frost talked about that they prepared for uh, some different defensive sets that they didn't end up seeing from Illinois. Here's Matt Lubick talking about that. Uh, you know, we, we kind of, uh, and, and when you go into a first game, you're not sure what they're going to do. Uh, we did think they were going to be an odd, but we, we had a lot of meetings on, hey, what if they come out in this? What if they come out in this? And so we had, you know, we had a, a, a call sheet for if they come out in even. Um, and we actually used some of those, we used those plays, and we didn't have the results that we would like to have. But we had, uh, and then the same thing with the coverages, because you don't know, it's the first game of the year, they could change it, it was a new coach. So we had what we thought, you know, our, our best game plan would be if they came out in this, if they came out in this, and we had the ability to adapt. Because we, we met on that, you know, the whole month going in, because there's so much uncertainty going to a first game. And so, yeah, there were some specific things we had in the game plan versus I that they didn't do, that we didn't use, but, but we had enough other stuff. And then we also, you know, we didn't always execute it the right way, but we also tried to call plays that have answers versus multiple fronts and that, and that your kids know what to do and, and multiple coverages. Um, and uh, we got we got to keep continuing to do that because at the end of the day, you know, the, the defense can do a whole bunch of different things and you got to be prepared for it and your kids got to know what they're doing and, and we got to be able to execute. There you go. A little deeper explanation there from Matt Lubick about what did take place on Saturday. This dovetails into Nebraska didn't get a, a ground game established. They couldn't get the running game going. Here was his thoughts about that part of the offensive play on Saturday. Yeah, well, we, we definitely early on, uh, that's a good question. We didn't run the ball like we'd like to, okay? and we need to run it better. Uh, in the second half, when they, when they had the long drive and, and we were down by – whatever it was, the 20-point limit time, it does change the way you play the game. We still, we still thought we could run the football, okay? We still thought we could be run the football, but, but when you're down by that many points and you basically have a quarter left, a quarter and some minutes, um, you got to be a little more aggressive. And, and the defense knows that. The defense knows that. And so it, I guess to answer your question, yes, we got to run the ball better earlier in the game. And then number two, the, the timing of what was going on in the second half, um, we, we couldn't be probably as balanced as we'd like to be. As we've heard time and time again, uh, the more you run the football, the better you get at it in a game, right? And, and Nebraska just could not keep it going and not and not blaming the defense, but that long drive, I mean, hurts what the offense can do as well. And you, you heard Chenander talk, talking today about um, – you know how that can't happen again, and that's got to change. They cannot have that happen again this this year. You got to learn from it and move on. But it, it changed that that long drive changes even what the offense was was going to try to do as well. And that long drive put them down 14 points. So then you got to go. Okay, now we got to try to we got to score. We're probably throwing the ball took over. They had those really back to back good drives in the first half. Scored a touchdown, got a field goal. 
Probably should have been two touchdowns. Adrian missed the throw. That was one of the two throws I thought he missed on the day was to leave her in the back of the end zone. But, you know, you fall behind, you're probably not going to have a very balanced attack. I think you'll see more of that this week uh, in in the game against Fordham. All right, uh, the last clip we have from, from Matt Lubick, he was asked about, you know, some questions came up. Why did Xavier Betts not get more snaps offensively? So he talked about, hey, you got to be consistent in practice for us to put you in, the, in games and on the field in games. So here's his talk about what he wants to see in practice that translates into playing on game day. Yep. The question is uh, consistency from the receivers. Um, play with great effort. Uh, doing, doing things the right way so knowing your assignment, lining up right, making the plays you have to make when the ball's coming to you, make the play, and then blocking, you know, those four things. And so whoever can do those the best on a consistent basis is going to be in the game. Uh, now I'll say this, we, we, we need to play more receivers. That, that, that needs to be earned. And uh, that, that is the plan moving forward. But at the same time, you still got to earn that. You know, it's one thing to make a plan. The players still got to you know, do what they're supposed to do so you can, you can make that plan work. Um, and it can't be just one thing. Whether it's running back or receiver, if you're, if you're really good at one thing, you know, yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't work because your, your weakness can, can affect the play. And so it's really being consistent in all the different phases. And in each, each position has their, own, uh, has their own specific requirements for consistency. So those are some couple quick comments from Matt Lubick today. We'll switch to defense now. Eric Chenander also met with the media, and he was, we'll start out about uh, who did he feel like played well on Saturday for the Black Shirts. It's hard to, it's hard to name a guy that played the best, but I think... I think there's a lot of guys out there that played their best football as a Husker so far. Uh, I don't know how to say who played the best in the game because a lot of guys were rotating in. We rotated a lot of guys up front. Uh, three guys were rotating in at inside linebacker. Uh, there was some safety rotation going on. Uh, so I, I think a lot of guys probably played their best game as a Husker. But that's the encouraging thing, but that's also the disappointing thing because I think there's so much more in them. I think this group has, has more. I think we just need to continue to demand excellence out of this group. Uh, they had an opportunity to play. They played a good football game. They had an opportunity to play an elite football game, and we weren't quite ready to do it yet. And that's on me. That's disappointing, um, but that, that's got to change. It's an interesting comment. They played a good football game, but they had a chance to play an elite game. Yeah, and, and uh, weren't prepared for that, weren't ready for that, and, and he put it on himself. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought the defense played. They, they had some flashes of greatness, but – you know, you know, right out of the gate with, with such a tough opponent, but the way that they came out. And then just for them to say that, and we heard it from Ty Robinson when I talked to him the other day, some of the other defensive players, they knew that they played good, but that's not good enough. They want to be great. They want to be elite, as they're just, as you know, they've just said, as Coach Schnander just said, and, and as these defensive players have said. It goes back to your comment, the drive to start the second half, that's the one they want back. That's the one that the game got separation. That's where Illinois got a two-score lead. You shut the door there, give your offense the ball back, chance to go tie it, the whole thing's different. So I know they're, that's, what they're, that's what they're hung And that's fine. That's what they should be hung up on. Well, and, and he mentioned, you know, again, the, the big penalty that, um, you know, took away the interception. Right. I mean, you you got to learn from that. And it's not just now we're not singling out one player. We're singling out, singling out an entire defense, that you could not be an unselfish football player, that regardless, the rules have changed. And you have to be, learn to adapt. If you want to play on Sundays, it's the same thing. You know, you've got to learn what the rules are. You cannot put your team in that kind of situation. And so I think they took a lot away from a lot of those things that kind of happened as, as disappointing as some of it was. I think a lot of guys will learn a lot from, from what went down on, on Saturdays, specifically with those two drives right, right. there. Um, okay, camp's over. We're now out of the season. Do position battles still go on? Are people still fighting to get on some playing time on the field? Here's the coach, his philosophy about that. Yeah, I think that, that's going to be an ongoing battle. Uh, I think those guys are, all those guys that are, you know, fighting for, fighting for a job over there are doing some nice things. And it's going to be how do you practice during the week? And if it's close, then we got to rotate guys in there. If it's not close, we'll stick with one guy. But that's, that's, an, ongoing, that's an ongoing situation every week. One name we've not heard the coaches talk about for a couple of weeks is Tyreek Johnson. Remember, he's the five-star transfer from Ohio State, a defensive back early in camp. His name was coming up a lot. It hasn't lately. He was on the trip. I don't think he got into the game. I'll have to go check the participation chart. But Tyreek Johnson, here's Eric Janander talking about him. 
I hope so. Uh, you know, he was banged up a little bit with a, uh, you know, an injury he came in with, so he was kind of on and off. But um, he's had a couple good weeks of practice now, and I hope we can hope we can get him going here in the next couple weeks, especially with a couple home games where there's no travel roster and those types of things, so we can kind of really find out who belongs and who doesn't. He's an incredibly athletic guy. I think there's going to be a spot for him, and hopefully he gets back up and running because I think he can really help this team moving forward. Well, and just rotating, being able to rotate. If, if something is not going the way of, of another guy back there, you can put him in and, and maybe tweak some things that, that maybe help with some of those adjustments that you're trying to make in-game. Well, and it was obvious Illinois was targeting another guy in the secondary because they didn't feel like he was very good in run support. So there's going to be an opportunity, I think, for Tyreek to get some playing time. All right, last thing from Coach Shenander. What, what about this weekend? What about Fordham? What kind of challenge do they pose the Husker defense this, this Saturday? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you don't know what they're going to do. I mean, they, they played a spring game or a spring season, which they looked a little different than they did in 2019. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, we've got all the film. They've got their, you know, they've got their running back who played in 2019 and was an excellent football player who did not participate in the spring because of injury. He's now back. So just to say, well, they're going to throw it around, I think that's, that's foolish because they have a really good running back coming back. They also have a good quarterback and good receivers. So I think the guys need to be ready for both phases of the football game. Interesting team because the FCS did not play last. A couple of schools did, but for the most part did not play in the fall because of COVID. So some schools played a lot of games in the spring. The Patriot League, which is where Fordham is, Jessica, they played three. They went two and one. So they played games in March and into early April and then shut it down. So we'll be interested to see what kind of shape they're in, where are they at, because they didn't shut down football for very long between the end of the spring and where they're starting now. Yeah, and, and hearing, you know, the coaches and players talking about how they're approaching this week, like, you know, whatever Ford may or may not put on paper, I mean, it, they got a, it's, and Coach Shenander says it, it's, it's about a, a nameless, faceless opponent. I mean, yeah, the schemes might change, but you got to go out there. It's about us. We got to go right. play black shirt defense. And, and, you know, put put it out there like what the kind of defense that we know we can play. So as much as you know, you want to read into the the schemes and the game planning for Illinois. This is not the case for this week. It is what Nebraska needs to do to to improve and be a better football team on Saturday. A hundred percent. This this week's more about Nebraska than the opponent. Hey, uh, Dorothy Lynch, home style and light and lean dressing, endless flavor abilities. 402-413-2400, the number if you want to dot us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. Let's go to the phones. Bob and Waverly's been hanging on. Good evening, Bob. Yeah, um, this is not all Adrian's fault and loss, but I do notice something the last four years. He just doesn't seem to have confidence out there. He may do good in practice and he just doesn't have the it factor. You know, when Bedro was in there, he played. He didn't have, have all the God given the talent, but there's something about him where he had the it factor. I just don't sense that out of Adrian. He just seems to get tight during games, and I just don't see him as going to uh, prove it any more than he has until he overcomes that. And I just think this week's game is an excellent time to Smothers and Harburg in there and see if they got a flash. You know, they don't. Maybe don't have all the talent, but it's not all about sometimes talent there. If you, if you have the to play a game player, then that makes a difference. I just don't think Adrian is that. You know, he has a good kid and a lot of talent. Has shown flashes, but I mean, we're into the fourth year and we've seen the same thing year after year. Those are my comments, and I'll get off. Yeah. No, hey, Bob, I, I, I hear you, and I, I think a lot of people would share what, what you're seeing there. Adrian has to be better. He can't miss open receivers, can't fumble the ball late in the first half. Those, But you're right, we've seen a lot of that from Adrian the last couple of years. I still like his upside. I still think it's in there, but he's got he's to go do it. I'm I'm not quite ready yet, and, and, you know, I'm sure people will come at me for this. I'm not quite ready yet to say that he's not an improved player or not a different player because – you know, they, they've been seeing it. They've been saying it. This team believes in him. So let's give him another chance before. I'm just not ready to write him off after game one. You know what I mean? So um, I think he put in a lot of work, and we saw some of the flashes, some of the things that he can do, uh, the, the 75-yard touchdown run. You know, yeah, I think he'll – he said that he has to be better for this football team. But – I, I would like to give him a, a, another game or two before we completely say that he's the exact same Adrian that he was a year ago. Very, very fair. Very, very fair comment. 402-413-2400. Back with more of your calls and texts next. 
Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Shop Woodhouse first for all of your pre-owned vehicle needs. We offer a variety of quality used makes and models across 16 different locations. You can shop with confidence knowing our pre-owned vehicles complete a comprehensive inspection upon arrival. Visit us for a test drive today or online anytime at Woodhouse.com. Making your car buying experience better. This is Woodhouse. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like your home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farm equipment, and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbrothers.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit to Toast Subaru at 20 7th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or to ToastSubaru.com. Hey, this is Jimmy Buffett. I am so happy to be bringing my Broadway musical Escape to Margaritaville to you. It's got all the songs you know by heart, a few new ones, a great cast, and dancing that'll knock your flip-flops off. Get ready to set your mind on island time and get your tickets today. Fins up. At the Lead Center, September 10th through 12th. Get your tickets today at leadcenter.org. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. Chevy, find new roads. Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups. Firewall, tough defense. And network, way to carry the whole team. Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. 
Treatment for kids fighting brain cancer has not changed for over 30 years. If a child survives, they will live with the side effects from the treatments for the rest of their lives. This is Rex Burkhead. The Team Jack Foundation invests in impactful childhood brain cancer research to find better treatments and one day a cure. There's a lot of work to do to beat this disease, and we need your help. Donate today by calling 855-RUN-JACK or by visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Your help makes a difference. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Downtown, and the OG location in Millard. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addie's. Addie Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addie Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The Team Jack Foundation raises funds for childhood brain cancer research. Please consider supporting the Team Jack Foundation by texting Jack to 243-725 or visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night, 402-413-2400 for a call or a text. On our text line, Kent in Iowa says, handing out seats for needy or underserved kids should have been done 20 years ago. This is an awesome idea. I think it would be a great tradition for Nebraska to continue. I think it's an awesome idea. Over in Iowa, obviously, they have the the children's hospital that overlooks Kinnick Stadium and they do the, the wave to the children that are in hospital in the third quarter. Maybe Nebraska, maybe this is something Nebraska could look at doing, uh, n not just a, for a one-time deal, but maybe on a, on, a, uh, on a yearly basis for Nebraska to do something. That's, a, that's an excellent idea. Let's go out to the panhandle next. Randy, you're up on Sports Nightly. Good evening. Hey, Randy, turn that phone down. Go ahead. Are you with us, Randy? All right, Randy may be uh, not with us anymore. Hopefully he's safe somewhere. Call us back, Randy, if you want to get, jump on board on the program here. Um, we, we have not talked about NIL this week. Somebody last night texted Jessica. They wonder if some of the Husker players like a Cam Taylor, Britt, or an Adrian are putting more pressure on themselves to be good for their sponsors or to make themselves more sponsorable. I don't think that's probably the case to you. I don't know that that's in their mind when they're playing. That, oh, I need to make a play that makes me more marketable to go earn money. No, I, I don't think that's the case. I think they're putting a lot of pressure on themselves to just, you know, to win, to do the things that they said that they were going to do, you know, this, this whole fall camp and leading up to Saturday. I think also you look at a guy like Cam Taylor Brett and put the potential to, to be drafted. I mean, I think there's a lot of pressures, but I don't think, you know, sponsors are necessarily one of them. I think, I think more so than anything, it's probably, you know, Adrian wanting or uh, Cam wanting to do so much for this team and, and that kind of pressure more than the other, the, more than the, oh, the sponsors of the NIL deals. Speaking of NIL, and I, I'm, I'll say I'm dead wrong on this. Quinn Ewers, who is the number considered to be the number one quarterback in the 2022 class. So this is for seniors that are playing high school football right now. He is from Austin, Texas, South Lake Carroll High School. He has already, he left, he just skipped his senior year, and he's headed off to Ohio State. He's now a Buckeye. He joined the Buckeyes team in early August. He will not be the starting quarterback for them when they play Thursday night against Minnesota. But he today signed a $1.4 million deal with GT Sports Marketing. Uh, it's a three-year deal in exchange for his autograph, basically, his signature. So this is a guy. It's his third big deal. He got a drink company of Texas that he picked up. He also got uh, some other deal. Uh, so he's well over a million dollars. And this is a guy who's not probably going to play football this year. And who knows? I don't know if he'll be the starting quarterback ever at Ohio State, but somebody's putting a lot of money into this guy's pocket. That's the thing. Typically, you recruit a quarterback every single year, right? And so uh, he's, it's not like he's going to just be handed the reins. He's going to have to compete and win it. And with the transfer portal, I mean, you just there's no guarantee that he's going to be the guy. How, is it, how do you know it's going to turn right. out? There's he a may, lot of guys that, that don't pan out when they get to those schools. He may get to spring ball, not win the job, and then transfer out. So is he still worth the same thing if he's at Louisiana compared to Ohio State? No, he's not. But yeah. this company's now on the hook for this deal. Unless there's language that if you're not, 
then you're null and void. Maybe there is language. Is it like a one year deal or? It's a three year deal. Oh, wow. Three year deal. That's crazy. Texas, Mississippi, Illinois are the three states that do not allow high school athletes from profiting for NIL. We've had that question come up. So in the state of Nebraska, they could. Let's go back out to Scott's Bluff. Randy, we'll try Randy again. Good evening, Randy. Hi. Yeah, I just got one question, and it's been going on the last couple of years. Uh, why doesn't Coach Frost ever pull Adrian when he's having a bad run of things just to calm him down? You know, this is going on with McCaffrey last year, and, uh, you know, he just seems to be stuck with no matter what Adrian does. Well, he did pull him last year, and you just mentioned it. He pulled him for Luke McCaffrey. Luke started two games last season, so Adrian did get benched the middle of last year. I don't, I don't know that Adrian played that poorly Saturday. I mean, I know he fumbled, but I don't know that he was awful Saturday. Well, he was, he was five of twelve. He was, yeah, he was overthrew. He was fifty percent for over, the day. Overthrew a touchdown pass. He did. He made two bad throws. He made that bad throw, and he missed uh, Chris Hickman on a wheel route. You're right. Missed two throws. And he, well. And on the very next play, he missed a, a six-eight tight end for for the first down. All right. Well, I mean, he has been benched in the past. So to sit to call and say that he's well, why don't they bench him? They did. They benched him last year. Luke McCaffrey came in and turned the ball over five times against Illinois, and we got skunked. I think people forget Illinois beat Nebraska, beat him like a drum last year uh, here in Lincoln. I think I think a lot of people forgot that game or thought that game didn't didn't mean anything at all. Hey, I'm late for the break. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Back to wrap up this hour next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Husker fans, the 2021 athletic season marks the beginning of mobile tickets for Husker sporting events. Tickets and parking passes for all sports will be available for download in your ticket account on the official Huskers app. It's a safe and easy way to guarantee your entry into some of the most exciting sporting events around. Simply download your ticket from your ticket account or the Huskers app and save to your mobile phone wallet before you leave home. Scan at the gate and enjoy the game. Go Big Red! Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. With a combination of strong academics and affordability, UNL offers an excellent educational value. This year, the university was named one of the Princeton Review's Best Value Colleges. And the new Nebraska Promise and Career Scholarship programs are connecting more hardworking Huskers with financial help so they can pursue their dreams. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Wait, time out, Mom. Instead of using ketchup on your hot dog, pour on some of this Dorothy Lynch. Good, huh? Mmm, yeah, talk about serving of an ace. Did you see that? She spiked it. Yes, am I going to be watching you play for the Huskers someday? <laughs> How about you get me some more pizza, and then we talk about it. Share the tradition of one-of-a-kind flavor that goes with anything, game day or any day. Dorothy Lynch, endless flavorabilities. 
Our Sports Highly Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 locations. Simplify car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy it online at woodhouse.com. Final few minutes of this hour, our volleyball show coming up in hour number two. The head coach will be in studio to take your calls, comments, questions. They will play three matches this weekend, starting with UNO on Friday at 11 a.m. UNO soccer will be here to play Oscar soccer team Thursday night at Hibner Stadium. So we'll see some of the Mavericks coming up here in just a little bit. I brought up the, the young man who skipped his senior year of high school. W- what is this deal that some high school football team played games back-to-back days over the weekend to get on ESPN? Is that? Yeah, I guess like a, and it, it, was a, it was a fake team. It wasn't even a real high world? school. Uh, yeah, and they what played the IMG world? Academy. It was like one, known for producing so yeah. many top recruits. And then so people started kind of digging in about it. And there was a GoFundMe page that they didn't even have the equipment for the team so they didn't have like proper helmets and so they i mean yeah it was it was really uh crazy crazy once you started digging into it all the kind of backstory to it that it was not even it wasn't a legit high school they didn't have you know and then you talk about player safety and you you don't have proper equipment and uh, making them turn around and play that quickly Uh, yeah it was a lot of craziness going on lawsuits for this thing yeah i mean you can't make kids go play football back-to-back days that's not even at the high school level where it's not as physical as college football but still my goodness and to to hoodwink somebody to put that game on tv too yeah right yeah espn put it on tv right yeah Espen. ESPN, the the you know the savior of everything sports world, fell for that. Yeah, oh, and then then so look. then ESPN said that they rely on this other company that marketing company or whatever that sure. gives them the teams, the high school teams to put on air. So then they started to kind of pass the buck, Yo, trying to I'm blame sure the, the other company that that gave them this team to put on TV. I caught wind of that story the day and I thought that was made up. I'm like, there's no way that could have happened. That is crazy that something like that would take place. Uh, all right, tomorrow night here on the program, the Big Ten Blitz will be here. We'll cover some of the other highlights today. Husker basketball found out they're going to play a 10.30 a.m. Central game in December. Uh, we knew they were playing Auburn in that holiday hoops matchup thing down in Atlanta. There's be four games that day. It will be on uh, one of the ESPN channels. Auburn should be really good. Coach Pearl's got a heck of a team. That'll be a good challenge for that. We believe, we're hearing rumblings, that the conference basketball schedule is coming up this week. So we're hearing rumblings of that. We're keeping our ear to the ground to see if that happens. I know Husker fans are anxious for both the men and women to see their conference schedule. I I know I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. I'm excited for both these teams. I think they've got a lot of... uh... Exciting talent, new talent, but also talent returning. And I think we got uh, potentially two NCAA tournament teams that we're going to be able to watch. I, I'm not there on the men. You're a little further along on the men. I think the women definitely have the ingredients to do that. I need to see, I need to see our team play more. And I don't want to put that on Coach Hoiberg's head that I think year three will be an NCAA tournament team. But I hope so. I hope you're right. I, I just think that he's got the talent in and, and they're believing. And you saw at the end of the season how they had bought in and – Kind of the, the foundation had been in place. The culture, the guys that came back is, have been able to move a little bit quicker this summer. So I think they were on a good track and they continued it this summer. All right, volleyball show coming up on the other side as we broadcast from our new broadcast studio brought to you by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. One hour done, a volleyball show coming up on the other side. Come on back. us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Downtown, and the OG location in Millard. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addie's. Addie's Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addie's Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Treatment for kids fighting brain cancer has not changed for over 30 years. If a child survives, they will live with the side effects from the treatments for the rest of their lives. This is Rex Burkhead. The Team Jack Foundation invests in impactful childhood brain cancer research to find better treatments and one day a cure. There's a lot of work to do to beat this disease, and we need your help. 
Donate today by calling 855-RUN-JACK or by visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Your help makes a difference. Here we go again. The celebrating, the accolades. Ever since we added Marco to our team, our technology can't lose. Day after day, success after success, Marco's made our business IT a force to be reckoned with. The only drawback of being technology all-stars is keeping champagne away from the electronics. <sighs> Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Dave's is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get-together famous. Award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs, Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, creamy coleslaw, and Dave's cheesy mac and cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit FamousDave's.com for all your catering and online ordering needs, or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue.
live from the Acres Broadcast Center inside Volleyball Show. Line drive, volleyball bumped over to the left. Lexi's son, kaboom! Colgate's middle tips it over. Huskers have it outside. Lexi tools the block again. Off the block and out. 19-8. Big red. All Huskers. All the time. Here's your host, Jessica Cootie. Welcome back, everybody. Inside our Acres Broadcast Center. New uh, Acres Equipment Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres, solutions for every field. I'm Jessica Cooty and welcome into the volleyball show. Head coach John Cook should be joining us any moment now. So uh, get your calls, your texts in for Coach Cook on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family Shop. Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. Again, that is 402-413-2400 to hit us up with the text or call to get those questions and comments in for Coach Cook. Nebraska Volleyball coming off their two wins to open up the season over the weekend. A 3-0 sweep over Colgate in the season opener on Friday night. Lexi Sun with a match high 10 kills, which uh, helped her notch the... Or surpass the 1,000 kill mark as a Husker. And then on Saturday, the Huskers taking care of business over Kansas State, a 3-1 win in a uh, come-from-behind victory in set four. And uh, Coach Cook has entered the building and is joining us now. Well, Coach, congratulations. Uh, two wins to start off the season. Thanks. Sorry I'm a little late, but I wanted to see if you could carry the show here for a while because uh, I've been wandering around out here. I, <laughs> I couldn't see the door, and I was in the wrong part of the stadium. So. Well, I rambled on for a yeah. couple of minutes to, to get us going. Was a, put you under a little pressure, see if you come That's through. That's all right. I, hopefully I delivered. Uh, well, you know, we start with Colgate, and you sweep Colgate, but Lexi Sun gets to a career kill 1,000. You mentioned that in your press conference. Um, just how big is that for her and for, you know, what, 23rd program and or 23rd player in program history to be able to join that list? Yeah, it's pretty cool. But I think, um, I, if I'm right, she was ninth in the, in rally score, which mm -hmm. is a lot harder to do. Because in the old days when we had side out scoring, I mean, the matches would go on forever and you could accumulate a lot more stats. Mm -hmm. Rally score, the matches are, you know, it's kind of predetermined when it's going to end. But in the old side out scoring, I mean, you could. You know, you'd be stuck at 10-10 for 10 minutes, and people are accumulating stats. So that makes it even more impressive, but uh, it's pretty cool for her. And she's only been here, you know, uh, three seasons, so that's pretty fast pace. Yeah, for sure. So Kansas State on Saturday, we were watching on the <clears throat> plane on the way back from Illinois, and uh, a tough one. You said that they, they always play you guys tough. The second set, what, 27-25, and then they take set three, and then you got to come from behind to win set four. How good was that for your team to have that kind of challenge? Yeah, it was really good, and K-State was playing great. I mean, they in game three, they crushed us. Uh, they had no errors. They hit for an incredible percentage. They dug everything. We just... Yeah, we just we kind of imploded, and we were able to. We got down again in the fourth, but made a couple changes, put Ani Evans in, and and uh, I told him at uh, I think it was 16-12 maybe or somewhere there. There was a timeout. Kansas State called. They said, "If you guys can get a couple more points, this crowd's going to get into it and carry you down the stretch." And that's exactly what happened. So it was it was good for them to know they could do that. Uh, it was good for Ani coming in to know she could do that, and and then our crowd really got into it. So it was great. How big was that, too, to have, um, you know, again, more experience? You, the red and white scrimmage, you, you talked about wanting to get your freshman in front of that crowd for the first time, get a feel for it. But continuing to understand and playing in front of a crowd like that, I mean, I, I, you got to imagine that it takes time to get comfortable in that setting. No, no question. And, you know, in some ways, the home crowd inspires you, but they also have expectations. And so... But I think some of our freshmen struggled a little bit just playing that hard for the, at that level for that long, and that's that's what they're going to have to learn. But the crowd, um, you know, and the, here's the other thing that happens: the first game we come out, and the, the crowd's got they're all got everybody fired up. Well, eventually, you know, the air comes out of the balloon a little bit, so mm -hmm. they got to learn how to maintain that level and not just come out, you know, burn off all their adrenaline and then you know hit the wall. And that's kind of what happened. 
Well, announced, uh, I think it was today, Lexi Rodriguez is the co-Big uh, Ten Freshman mm -hmm. of the Week, starting at Libero for you in both those wins. 15 digs, 6 assists against Colgate, and then 21 digs against Kansas State. How impressed were you with her and, and the freshman in her debut? She, she did a great job all weekend. Um, she's done it every day in practice. She's our best passer. And, um, yeah, I think, I think the Husker Nation is going to fall in love with her, how she plays, how hard she plays, and some of the plays she makes are incredible. Is it, um, you know, to put a freshman in that spot, I mean, is, how do you, I guess, make the determination that a freshman can handle, can handle that role? Well, she's, she beat out two very good liberos that were already in our program, and Kenzie Knuckles has started the last two years at libero, but the only other freshman to do that was uh, Justine Wong Arantes, who just won, just showed us showed off her gold medal, yeah, uh, in and as best and and best libero in the Olympics, you know, in, in front of the crowd on that yeah, was Kansas State match we introduced her. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, that that just shows you that's an elite club that Lexi's in right now. How special was that for you to yeah, have? And we Justine don't we don't call her Lexi because we have two Lexies. Okay, so we can't. We can't confuse them, so we call well, her Roddy. 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 There so that's, you go. That's the name. We got to call her Roddy because everybody's gonna think we're talking about Lexi's son, and so we call her Roddy, and she loves it. There you go, Husker Nation. Uh, Roddy. <laughs> call her Roddy. Yeah, they, they just got the inside scoop. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're breaking all kinds of news here on on your show. Um, Justine having her in the house. I know she she thought it was really special. The reaction that she got. How cool was that for you to have her back? Well, it was awesome because uh, I think she's, she came back a couple of years ago. The USA team came here and played, and I'm trying to remember what year it was. Uh, maybe it was probably 19, and, and it was her first debut with the USA team in what's called the VNL, which is the Volleyball Nations League, and their first weekend was here in Lincoln. And then from there, they go to China, they go to Russia, they go to Brazil. It's just a talk about a tough road trip. Anyway, she played awful, and they, they didn't take her on the next trip. <laughs> so, I mean, they, basically, she got cut. Uh -huh. And I think, uh, you know, for her, that was really hard, and she questioned whether she could do this or not. And anyway, it's a great story of persevering and staying with it. And then she goes and wins a gold medal. So, but that was her first debut, and it was actually uh, in Devaney. It was when they came back, and I think they played Turkey or Brazil, um, and she just got served off the court. And, you know, at that level, they can just really pick on any weaknesses you have, and they exploited her, and it was bad. And they got, they got beat 3-0, and it was bad, and I felt sorry for her. So it's got to be so rewarding for you to see her come out with the gold medal and, and to play the way she played at, the, at this year's Olympics. Yeah, she, <clears throat> she played phenomenal, and she was the best passer in, in the entire Olympics. Uh, but, you know, she's a great story. Uh, she was a setter who we made a libero. We we're the only school to offer a full ride, and she makes it all the way to the Olympics. So I actually uh, talked to her some more on Monday, and I'm encouraging her to write a book because I think she has a great story to tell. Just, if you, and again, if you know all of her personal history and her family and her upbringing and how she got into volleyball, it's just a great story. And then to go all the way to win a gold medal uh, and, and go to Nebraska from, you know, basically downtown L.A. And it, it, it would be a great story for a lot of, you know, young girls to read, you know, that are junior high to high school, to just to understand her story and how she has taken advantage of that. And she did the one thing we always ask our players to do, which is to dream big. And she dreamed really big. And, you know, she was the first All-American libero here. She's a gold medalist. And, yeah, it's an incredible story. She should write a book. Are you going to help her write that? I mean, you've already written one. So yeah. are you going to point her in the right direction? I, I, uh, I told her I would help her a little bit to get her going, but we'd get her with a, a writer to help her because uh, my grammar's not very good. If you just if you read any of my texts, I, <laughs> I'm not very good. And the, the girls tell me not to text. They want me to have our social media people or Lindsay do all my texts and Instagrams and all that because I don't do it right. So they're like, and they, they know, oh, coach, you did that one because they, they know when I do it and when somebody else does it. So. Did someone tell you the way you told her to write a book? Like when you, when you wrote your book, what went into that decision? Yeah, great, great question. Um, in, 
uh, after 2015, um, and I, I always do a lot of speaking in the off season, but 2015 was a great year, 2016 was a great year, and so I was doing a little more speaking, and I, I put together you know, a really cool presentation that I would go and speak all over the state, and every time somebody would say, you should write a book, you should write a book, and then there's a, there was a player we were recruiting, I won't say who, she didn't end up, she ended up not coming here, and one day I'm, I'm talking to her dad and he goes, you know, you should really write a book. And I go, why is that? He goes, well, I've heard you speak and I've heard other people hear you speak and you really have a great story, you should write a book. So I thought, okay. And then the next thing I know, I go on bike rides out the Mopac. And do you know what the Mopac is? It's the, basically an old railroad trail that they've made into a dirt that goes east all the way to Omaha. Okay. And it goes on out east, to, well, you can get on it from Devaney and go right all the way to Omaha. Uh -huh. And so I'd go on these rides, and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, if I wrote the first chapter, and I would just, it would start coming in my head as I was riding my bike, like, and I would just start telling the story to myself, and it was really weird. And then chapter two, and then this, and chapter three. And so that's how it started happening, and then I got, uh, talked to Coach Osborne, because he's uh, written three books, and I said, Coach, I'm, I'm thinking about writing a book. What do I, what? and he goes, well, you gotta get a publisher and, and somebody to help you write it. So I found um, Nebraska Press, said they would take it, and Brandon Vogel, who's right, he's the, the main guy for Hale Varsity, which is a great magazine. And um, I got him to help me write it, and we sat down, it took us about six months, and boom, and then we did a second edition after 2017, after we won the national championship. We did a, a, a updated edition to it that sold really well, and um, we came and we came out in paperback. So, it, it you know I'm really proud of that because what most people don't know is when I was a senior in high school, <clears throat> neither one of my parents went to college. So a coach took me under his wing and said, "Hey, you, you need to go to college. You can play sports." And, and I failed the SAT test, and I failed the English version of the SAT test. So I thought I was done. And I got an English teacher who tutored me for another couple, three, six, or six months, I think, to take the final last test to get into college, which I think was in April or May. And I finally passed it. Wow. So, so I got to go to college, and I kind of I made a vow to myself, someday I'm going to prove I'm not a dummy, you know, <laughs> because of the SAT test. And wow. so, and that's why I went into coaching because I wanted to, I mean, that coach got me going in a direction in life. And so that's what has inspired me to want to give back and coach and work with kids. And what an incredible story. That's yeah. awesome. So did you uh, just come back as soon as you were done with your bike ride and hurry and write things down? Yep. I would come back and make notes. I would get on my computer and type it all out and uh, make notes. And so I kind of had this chapter. So I started getting this chapter before I ever talked to Bra Brandon and then once Brandon and I were ready to go, I said, okay, here's chapter one. So he, I sent it to him. He would look it over, and then we would go back through it. And he would ask me questions, and, you know, he knows how to get more out of, you know, the power of words than I did, um, which made it awesome. So Wow, very cool. It's a, it's a, really, it's a really cool process to go through um, because it really makes you – it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard to write. And – I really admire people that are great writers. They, it is a definite skill and talent. And um, so anyway, it's really hard, but it's a great exercise to go through. I can only imagine how you felt when you got that book, that first book in your hands. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, for and, sure. And I, I had so many people I wanted to give it to. And the cool thing was, Jessica, the English teacher who helped me, I sent, she was retired in Michigan now, and I sent her a copy. and. She just sent me the greatest note back, you know, and I had to, she had to feel pretty cool about that. Oh, that's incredible. Wow. Okay, on that note, we have got to uh, step aside for our first break here, but we got some text messages rolling in. We'll get to those right after this break. You're uh, listening to the Volleyball Show with uh, Head Coach John Cook. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. 
It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance. More than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. On May 7th and 8th, Nebraska celebrated its largest May graduating class in university history. 3,594 degrees were awarded to Nebraska graduates in ceremonies at Pinnacle Bank Arena and Memorial Stadium. Along with receiving their diplomas, graduates also heard inspiring speeches from notable Nebraskans, including legendary coach Tom Osborne. There is no better way to support your Huskers than becoming a season ticket holder. And a limited number of Nebraska football season tickets are on sale now. Secure your seat in Memorial Stadium for head coach Scott Frost's fourth season at the helm as the Huskers play host to Buffalo, Michigan, Ohio State, Iowa, and more. Now is your chance to become part of the storied tradition that is Husker football. To purchase season tickets, call 1-800-8-BIG-RED. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. You could win a 2021 Ford F-150 XL four-wheel drive Super Crew truck from the Woodhouse Auto family this season. If the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, Woodhouse will give away an F-150. New contestants will be chosen each week. For details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto family kickoff contest and official rules, go to woodhousekickoff.com. That's woodhousekickoff.com. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Dave's is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get-together famous. Award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs, Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, creamy coleslaw, and Dave's cheesy mac and cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit FamousDave's.com for all your catering and online ordering needs or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean, which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles? Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco, proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com slash change. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Treatment for kids fighting brain cancer has not changed for over 30 years. If a child survives, they will live with the side effects from the treatments for the rest of their lives. This is Rex Burkhead. The Team Jack Foundation invests in impactful childhood brain cancer research to find better treatments and one day a cure. There's a lot of work to do to beat this disease, and we need your help. Donate today by calling 855-RUN-JACK or by visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Your help makes a difference. It's game on. At Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont, featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us. Sid Dillon. 
we are professional grade. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Downtown, and the OG location in Millard. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addie's. Addie's Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addie's Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Welcome back to the Nebraska Volleyball Show. I'm Jessica Cootie here with head coach John Cook. Nebraska 811 says go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. And we've got some uh, text messages rolling in for you, Coach. Uh, injury status of Allie Batenhorst and Riley Gray. Uh, Allie was full go in practice today. Uh, she probably could have played last weekend, but we, we kind of kept her out just to be safe. But she's gone through two, two days of practice now and, and looked great. Uh, and so we'll keep our fingers crossed that she's healed up. And Riley is 100% uh, doing everything. And um, so she's so she's, good reports on those guys. Nicklin's back in practice. And um, now we're just counting the hours down until we can get Lauren starting gradually back into practice. We can't just throw her out there. But, right. So, um, you know, that, that's... It's going to be good. good that you have the depth that you can be cautious and take your time with these athletes. Yeah, well, some years we don't. Right. <laughs> but this year, uh, it's, it's we've been pretty lucky. We've got, like I said, we've got 16 players that can play, and they've all played um, with the exception of Riley. And and Allie played in the red-white, um, so I guess technically she hasn't played yet. But um, anyway, they all can play, and... And, and uh, so we're pretty lucky. All right, here's a question. Uh, since you are not switching sides after a set, would it be possible to switch the bench sides, alternate east and west as you go through the schedule? Otherwise, the east side gets cheated. We like to watch the bench, too. That is a million-dollar question this week. <laughs> um, and I, it's, it's good that I can get a chance to explain this. So the NCAA, not Nebraska, mm -hmm. the NCAA which surprised me because, I, I mean, the Olympics switched sides and um, uh, they mandated that you have to stay on your bench and there's no switching sides. Well, one of the reasons they want Nebraska to go to their locker room, they don't want the teams to interchange or cross paths. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, the, but they're you know at the, they're at the net crossing paths. So, but again, this is the NCAA, so we cannot argue that we can't change it. We have to abide by that. Um, so, because our our on the visitor side, the locker room is right out that tunnel, so that makes sense. And if we switch sides, we'd all have to cross going to the opposite locker rooms. Right. So that's one issue, and uh, and you know, and it's a rule. So. This is the safest and best way for us to do it, and, and we kind of have to do it. And it would be confusing to switch, again, you know, one game we're on one side, one game we're on the other. It would be confusing for our players. It would be confusing to the opponents. And, again, we we got to still go to the locker rooms. So um, those are the issues. And, again, there's nothing we can really do about it, and we're just going to have to make the best of it this year and hopefully next year we're back to normal or you know, I doubt of the I doubt if they're going to change it this fall but um, hopefully we'll be back to normal at some point there you go so there's your explanation uh, also had a question about uh, the eventual plan for Devaney Center volleyball parking will there uh, will the will it stay gravel be paved how's a parking structure other okay great another great question mm -hmm. um, so they're putting in a new track, 
and part of that track they put in, which is on the north side of Devaney, they put in parking, and mainly that parking is for handicapped. So it's all paved, it's all brand new. They just basically finished the day of a red-white game. So that, that's there. There is some more parking around the Coliseum, so on the south side, which is, again, I, I don't know what lot that is, but people can park there. But the, the next big parking lot is to the east, of Devaney, which is not paved, um, and that's between Devaney and Innovation Campus, and now that's all opened up, and there's a lot of parking that goes there. And I think they've put lights out there for at night, because as it gets darker and gets later, and you know we've had some issues with people trying to get to their cars when it's snowing out or whatever, so um, they've tried to make that a win-win. But I do know, uh, and I'll, I can quote Ronnie Green on this and talking to him, there is plans to build a parking structure and it'll probably be on that east side. And I think they want to get it going sooner than later. And again, I don't know the timing of that, but that is the plan is to build a parking structure that we could use for volleyball and Innovation Campus could use, you know, because there's a new hotel going in there. They're going to have conventions there. So they're going to need parking. And, and, um, so right now, but it's, I'll tell you what, it's a lot better than it used to be. <laughs> and, and, and what a good problem to have yeah. for, uh, for a program. Yeah. That you don't have enough parking. Yeah, but I, I told Trev came over, and he was asking me about it uh, on the red-white game. And I said, Trev, we've been in here since 2013. We actually moved in a year early before we were supposed to because Coach Osborne wanted us to generate revenue to start help paying off the Vanny. And the only complaint I've ever heard is parking. And, and you know, and when parking was a mess trying to get in and out. And otherwise, people love the Vanny. It doesn't matter if they're in standing room only, they love it. And so I know we're working really hard on that, and we're trying to make it as easy as we can. But it's a lot better than it used to be, and, and it's, it's doing pretty good. But the, the parking structure will be a huge, and, and, the, and Ronnie Green knows we need it. I'm bringing my parents for the first time this weekend. They're going to get to see it. All three. Great. So I'm excited to take them. Um, who will start at Setter this Friday and Saturday? <laughs> That's why we have practice. You know, we get, we're, it's only Tuesday. We got a couple more days to go. And um, but uh, now the dilemma for me is if Nicklin's good to go, you know, how much can we play? We play three matches, so I got to be careful. I don't overdo it with her. Um, we got to see how Kennedy and, and Ani do this week. So, uh, but they'll all probably get to play at some point. All right. So, lots of great texts rolling in for Coach Cook. 402 413 2400 on our Wood Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. So, I had a, a couple other questions I wanted to talk to you about. We've heard you say a lot about passing, right? And that your best passers are going to play, and how Lexi Rodriguez is the best passer in the gym. And you mentioned it in the Olympics and uh, with Justine. When did that become, because you were a football coach, right? When did you realize, okay, was there a certain match, a certain time that you're like, oh, this is monumental. My teams have got to be great passing teams. Yeah, and there, I learned it several times after losing uh, matches <laughs> when we didn't pass well. But really the, the time where it sunk in the most was the 2008 team. And that team had Jordan Larson, Tara Mueller, and Kayla Banworth. And Kayla was an Olympian libero uh, in Rio. And then Jordan, of course, has been a three-time Olympian. And we did not – it was probably the least talented team I've ever coached here. And we were uh, a couple points away from playing for the national championship. I and mean, we, we maxed that group out. But the reason we did, we were such a great passing team. Um, and if you look at our, all of our national championship teams, we were, are, have been great passing teams. So we really stress that. And the analogy I like to use, because I, I love to use football analogies, passing for volleyball is the offensive line for football. Okay. If you have a great offensive line, it doesn't matter whether you throw or run, you're going to have options to do it mm -hmm. and be good at it. And again, if you don't pass, you put all those great hitters those receivers, those running backs at a disadvantage. So we want to put our setter and our hitters at a, an advantage by passing great and making it easy on that setter. And so to me, the analogy is passing is the offensive line for football. Makes total sense now. I, I appreciate that. So do you recruit? Do you look at that when you're recruiting, or is it something that you develop when they get here, or a little bit of both? Uh, it's both. 
but what's really hard is in, in high school volleyball and club uh, is to evaluate great passers because the serving is not very tough. When you get to college, the serving is really tough. And so you might see somebody who passes great in high school or club. And, and remember, club volleyball is played in a lot of convention centers. And so the servers are crammed. And they don't really have a way to go back and really drive and serve. So the, so the serving is pretty easy in these club tournaments. So I've, we've been fooled several times by somebody we thought would be a great passer. And they get to college, they can't handle the speed and the pace and the movement of the serves. So it's really hard. To, it's one of the hardest things for me to evaluate. Uh, a lot of a lot of passers. I mean, a lot of his hand-eye coordination. And again, but until you see him at this level, you you never know. So, if someone was listening and had a daughter that was growing up playing volleyball, I mean, what advice do you give to them to to work on that right now? Yeah, just um, first of all, everybody wants to hit, yeah, <laughs> or they want to set, and uh, but you got to spend a lot of time passing and just giving them reps and getting the feel for the ball and. You know, one of the great things about Justine, she, she's, you know, she started playing when she was really young and playing at the beach. So she has a great feel for, you know, and again, it's a 10,000 hour rule. I mean, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. Mm -hmm. And then, and then part of it is you have to have the, the geometry of your body and your arms. The great pastors have a very flat forearm surface. So this is hilarious. Sometimes the football guys will come in and play beach on our sand court down the weight room. Uh -huh. And to watch those guys, I mean, they're all, you know, super built, you know, muscled out. And to watch them try to pass a volleyball, it's just comical <laughs> because they have no touch. And mm -hmm. the ball just ricochets off those muscles. So it's almost, you know, Justine is a slower twitch athlete, but she just has a great natural platform where the ball, you know, n she can really control the ball and... It, it has a, it, it's her platform is flat, so the ball goes where her platform faces, which makes her a great passer. Interesting. Well, I just learned a lot. I, yeah. The first time I talked to you, you gave me some homework, and I was uh, trying to take a lot of notes. I should have been taking notes there. I'll have to go back and listen because uh, I was just wondering that because I've heard you say that a lot and, and was kind of wondering kind of the background on that. But okay, we got to take another quick break, uh, but more from Coach Cook. Uh, send us your questions and texts. I see we got a few more rolling in. We'll get to those next. Uh, buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up in back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. You could win a 2021 Ford F-150 XL four-wheel drive Super Crew truck from the Woodhouse Auto family this season. If the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, Woodhouse will give away an F-150. New contestants will be chosen each week. For details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto Family Kickoff Contest and official rules, go to woodhousekickoff.com. That's woodhousekickoff.com. Double espresso for Matt, large ice mocha for Greg, $2,022 for Katie. Oh, oops. Everybody's mind is on the Nebraska Lottery's Powerball's Rockin' 15 promotion. Until September 25th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket and enter for a chance to be one of 15 to win $2,022 and a chance to win $1 million. Sorry for the mix-up, Katie. Here's your latte. Forget the coffee. Where's my $2,022? Powerball top prize odds, one in 292 million. Treatment for kids fighting brain cancer has not changed for over 30 years. If a child survives, they will live with the side effects from the treatments for the rest of their lives. This is Rex Burkhead. The Team Jack Foundation invests in impactful childhood brain cancer research to find better treatments and one day a cure. There's a lot of work to do to beat this disease, and we need your help. Donate today by calling 855-RUN-JACK or by visiting teamjackfoundation.org. 
Your help makes a difference. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic hey this is jimmy buffett i am so happy to be bringing my broadway musical escape to margaritaville to you it's got all the songs you know by heart a few new ones a great cast and dancing that'll knock your flip-flops off get ready to set your mind on island time and get your tickets today fins up at the lead center september 10th through 12th Get your tickets today at leadcenter.org. Between 6 and 8 million Americans meet the criteria for gambling affliction, and many more are affected by another person's gambling problem. Problem gambling is not a bad habit or a moral weakness. It's a serious disorder. With help, problem gamblers can make decisions to improve their lives. If you or someone you love has a gambling problem, contact Choices Treatment Center in Lincoln. For more information, go to the website choicestreatmentcenter.com or problemgamblingnebraska.gov. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it, the confidence of flashing a beautiful smile, the relief that your family can keep living the life they love, the serenity of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. Double espresso for Matt, large ice mocha for Greg, $2,022 for Katie. Oh, oops. Everybody's mind is on the Nebraska Lottery's Powerball's Rockin' 15 promotion. Until September 25th, buy a Powerball with PowerPlay ticket and enter for a chance to be one of 15 to win $2,022 and a chance to win $1 million. Sorry for the mix-up, Katie. Here's your latte. Forget the coffee. Where's my $2,022? Powerball top prize odds, one in 292 million. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, T-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Whew. Sometimes being an office printer feels like I'm competing in an Olympic sport. Thankfully, I have Marco's managed print services on my team. Marco's game plan helps me make big plays while saving big bucks. And Marco's lightning fast tech support gets me back in the game fast. Whew. I'm up. Find out what your printers could be saying with Marco's managed print services at marconet.com. Welcome back to the Nebraska Volleyball Show. Along with John Cook, I'm Jessica Foodie. Valentino's Pizza, Poster, and Pepsi is back. Get two jumbo one-topping pizzas for $17.99 each and free Husker schedule poster and a two-liter uh, Pepsi for only $1.99. Valentino's the official pizza of the Huskers, the way pizza should be. Coach got lots of good text rolling in for you. Um, here's one uh, from John in Denver. Hi, Coach. My wife and two boys will be traveling from Denver to attend our first Husker volleyball game on Friday night. What can we expect? My boys like to throw the bones. Go Big Red. They can throw the bones. There'll be all kinds of new things that they can learn uh, that, that we do for volleyball. So uh, one of the things when we do a stuff block, they go roof, roof, roof. The whole crowd does it. So that would be a uh, comparison to throwing the bones. Um, so it's fun. It's going to be a lot faster moving than a football game. 
and uh, it's intense action and the crowd's into it and, and you guys will have to figure out, I, I'm sure wherever you sit, if you ask the person next to you about all the traditions and the, and the things that go on, they'll be able to tell you because it's, uh, it's been doing, going like that for 25, 30 years. How, I wonder how they come up with a new, uh, when they add something new ever, how they come up with that. Like if students are just like the student section, hey, let's do this this time, and yeah. then it just catches on? Well, typically it's uh, the new things they do are toward one of our players. Uh -huh. So like Lexi's son is e easy. They got stuff they do with her. They, uh, last year, Jazz Sweet, they had stuff that they did with her. It sounded like they were booing. <laughs> um, so they'll pick up things that from our players unique to them that the student section will do. But the, the main crowd has the, the traditional things uh, that they've done ever since I've been here. And it's, it's never changed. Any talk of the Huskers going to Ireland with the football team in 2022? That's from Dave and Lincoln. Yeah, so the football team was supposed to go, was this year they were supposed to go, right? Or was it last year? Last this year. year. It was supposed to be this year. The okay. home opener Th with this Illinois. This was supposed yep. to be, okay, yeah. Or so, the season opener. Yeah, when they announced that, I talked to Bill Moose about going. We'd get Notre Dame or Boston College to go and meet us over there and play. Or we could potentially get Illinois to go, and they were game for it and maybe two other teams and do a tournament over there. So uh, I mentioned to Bill Moose, he said he would look into it and then COVID hit and you know, so it's probably worth a conversation that uh, I can ask Trev how he feels about it. It would be pretty cool. Uh, I do have an Irish Wolfhound dog, so I love <laughs> Ireland. Um, I, I, I love their Gatorade that they drink over there. And <laughs> it's different? Oh, okay. oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Just, a, a little slow there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and just love the Irish people. So, um, yeah, so uh, I like to go to Irish restaurants and places of establishment. And, and uh, anyway, it's, uh, it would be really, really cool. I don't know if Ireland, they don't really have a national team or, you know, I don't know how much the Irish people know about volleyball. Great Britain has, has when they host the Olympics, uh, in fact, one of our guys at Coach's Camps actually went over and helped train their women's team. Now, they, they, they were not competitive at all, but they were at least trying. And now um, we've had some players have opportunities to go there uh, and, and get their master's degree and play college volleyball in Great Britain. But Ireland, I haven't seen much from there, but it still would be really cool to go with football. And Definitely I, would I be awesome yeah, for fans. I think I'd... for our fans would be great. Yeah. That would be cool for them to get to watch football and volleyball yeah. so over are, there. Is the football team going next year now? Yes. Yep. Okay. Who are they playing? Uh, Northwestern. Northwestern. Yep. So we could, we could, we could meet Northwestern over there. There you go. I mean, anyway, we, we can make that happen if, if, but again, we'd have to find a place to play and, and that's, yeah. So I'll, I'll ask Trev about it. There you go. Okay, so a couple more uh, about the Olympics. How far away is UNL on using the system for calls and not the camera system used now? May move the game along a bit. Another person chimed in uh, about uh, how quickly that it moved along. So uh, you got anything on that about the, the replays? Yeah, so again, um, the year before COVID, we as a Big Ten conference got approval to put in a new camera system it's not the same as the Olympics, but it's getting us a heck of a lot closer to that. Um, and of course, with COVID budget, so they nixed it. So hopefully, it's going to come in next year. That will significantly make an Im a difference. They're they're going to we're going to put in high speed cameras, and you know the analogy I could give you like right now we're probably, you know, using a, a diesel truck, and we could be putting in like a Porsche or Ferrari type cameras. The international system is another, there's still one more step, the international system, and that's a 10 camera system. And they don't even, a lot of times now, they don't even use lines people because the referee has an, a computer right up on the stand. And he can just look and they show that, you know, that slow motion mm -hmm. uh, look where the ball went, did it was in or out. Um, and they have the cameras that can see where there was touches on the block and so on. That's even a, a more of a system, and we actually tried to buy, and this is, Nebraska fans will love and appreciate this. So when the USA team c came and played in Omaha, we got offered to buy the, that camera system, and we could use it in Devaney, and we were all set to do it. And guess who said no? 
the NCAA, I was about to say and NCAA. the Big Ten. They didn't want Nebraska to have it and nobody else to have it. But, so we were, we were going to get the system that they used, and they were going to give us a discount on it, and we would have permanently had that installed, and Big Ten and NCAA said no. You think that would have helped uh, maybe push other schools along to, to get in on that, and if it's something that fans across the country were, are wondering and, and wanting maybe to see a quicker uh, challenge uh, process? Yeah, I, you would think, uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> You know how it is in college sports, you know. You can't let somebody do something different than somebody else. And uh, So what happened to that system? I don't know where it went. I mean, I guess they kept it and are reusing it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, part of the deal was when Omaha hosted was that they would have access. I think they actually had uh, to access to buy that camera system and buy the floor. I think a club volleyball program in Omaha bought the floor. And they offered the floor to us, but we already have two TerraFlex floors. So, um, so anyway, that's part of the deal of coming to Omaha that they would, you know, give some of that or sell some of that stuff uh, at a discount. Okay, one more quick break to uh, work in here before our final segment with Coach Cook. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. Back with more with Coach Cook right after this. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Husker fans, looking for a seat in Memorial Stadium? Custom three-game mini plans are available now. For only $195, choose any combination of the six games available. Matchups available in the three-game plan include the home opener versus Fordham, Buffalo, Northwestern, Michigan, Purdue, and Iowa. Don't miss this opportunity to join the greatest fans in college sports and help fill Memorial Stadium. To build your mini plan, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 1-800-8-BIG-RED. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska is one of the best schools in America for student Fulbright scholars. 2021 marks the fourth time that the university has been named a top producing institution by the Fulbright program. Of the 30 Huskers who applied this past year, 10 were offered the prestigious Fulbright. An additional 16 Huskers were named semifinalists. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Downtown, and the OG location in Millard. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Treatment for kids fighting brain cancer has not changed for over 30 years. If a child survives, they will live with the side effects from the treatments for the rest of their lives. This is Rex Burkhead. The Team Jack Foundation invests in impactful childhood brain cancer research to find better treatments and one day a cure. There's a lot of work to do to beat this disease, and we need your help. Donate today by calling 855-RUN-JACK or by visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Your help makes a difference. 
Final segment here with Coach Cook, Dorothy Lynch, home style and, and light and lean dressing, endless flavorabilities. And the Team Jack Foundation, what a cool foundation. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and the Team Jack Foundation raises funds for childhood brain cancer research. Please consider supporting the Team Jack Foundation by texting Jack to 243 725 or visiting teamjackfoundation.org. Coach, another big uh, weekend this weekend, the Emeritus Players Challenge. How do you go about, you know, bringing the teams in, which teams you want in? And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of schools, a lot of programs want to experience Devaney, and especially setting up before they go into their conference season. Yeah. Um, this year, the last couple of years, is we've had a lot of teams that want to come here because they're like Colgate. They want their players to – they play in front of more people than they'll play in the entire season. Mm -hmm. And so they want their players to experience that. The Emeritus – tournament uh, is a little different because there's a lot of connections. First of all, Nebraska Omaha w w wants to play us and Matt Buttermore and uh, one of our, our former uh, uh, video coordinators, assistant coach there, Kelly O'Connor now. So they've been building a team and want to come back and play. So that's cool. There's a connection there. Um, the um, Georgia team we arranged with because Lauren Stiverns' little sister, Amber, is playing for them. Outside hitters, haven't he's a really good player. That's cool. So there's that connection. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to, you know, the idea was that they would play against each other. And then Arizona State has a Allie Gray, who a uh, four-time state setter for Omaha Scott. And, and uh, so she's on Arizona State. So I think that's their way of bringing, you know, her back to Nebraska. So... This tournament worked out. We've got these kind of interconnections going on, which, you know, some teams are looking to travel, so you look for an excuse. We do the same thing. Where, where do we want to go, and what's the connection? Does it help recruiting? Does it, do we take our, we always try to take our players back to their hometown if we can. And uh, so that's, a, that's how a lot of scheduling is kind of done in volleyball. Um, it's probably getting less and less, but we still try to do some of that. That's cool. So you were supposed to have a, a doubleheader last weekend, but Tulsa had to cancel. So does that change how you're preparing, how you game plan, the rotation, the lineups, all of that when you got two matches on Friday? Yeah, you've got to, um, well, you, and you got to worry about playing Saturday too. Mm -hmm. So w we want to play a lot of players and, and, uh, so we can try to be fresh through all three matches because typically you're, you're it's, it's hard to be up for three matches in 36 hours so we're gonna use our you know some of our players and our depth to have a couple different lineups so we can try to be fresh by saturday night so what i mean you talk about continuing to try to figure out your lineup and i know you've got still got a few more practices left but what are you looking for as you continue to try to solidify what you want to do with the personnel you got? Great question. Um, <laughs> part of it depends on, you know, as I mentioned earlier, Nicklin, you know, how much she can play. You know, can she play three matches? That, that can be tough. So we've got to be able to pace her and give her, you know, have other options. So that that's part of it. Uh, Allie Battenhorst is back. We'd like to see what she can do in a, in a live match. She had a great red-white. Um, and then we've got some really talented back row players. I'm trying to figure out how to get them in the matches more. So there's a lot of, a lot of things that are being decided and sorted out. And because that's what your preseason's for. Um, you know, it's important to win, um, but we're trying to sort some things out, like what is our best lineup. But also in the Big Ten, you know, we play a lot of back-to-back -back matches, Friday, Saturday, with travel in between. And we're the only sport that really does that. And so... We're going to have to have a couple different lineups, I think, going through the Big Ten that could really help us if we can get a couple good ones. Should be a fun weekend with football at home for their home opener and three chances to watch a Nebraska volleyball starting with Omaha at 11 a.m. And then you got uh, Georgia at 6 o'clock on Friday night and then turn right around after the football game. You got Nebraska and Arizona coming up at 6 o'clock. Thanks to Coach Cook for joining us. Thanks for all of your texts. And Coach Cook will be, will be back with us coming up next Thursday. I'm Jessica Cootie. Thanks for listening. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
When you're ready to pursue a career-building college degree, go with the school you know and trust, the University of Nebraska. And if you need the flexibility, convenience, and affordability of an online degree program, you can go online with the University of Nebraska. With courses developed specifically for the online learner by our four regionally accredited NU campuses, it's a valuable online education for your very real-world future. Go to online.nebraska.edu to learn more. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean, which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles? Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco. Proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com slash change. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Woohoo! Business technology one, network downtime zero. Being a game-winning IT network takes hard work and an experienced technology coach. That's why our game plan includes Marco. Marco helps our entire business infrastructure perform better and score big day in and day out. With Marco's veteran experience guiding our team, every season is a winning season. Find out what your technology could be 